Util tossed this time around. A couple of players actually holding on to extra money um, to be able to force into following round should this round not go well. Here's the quick play straight into B. Shui trying to play retake if he can and get into market here. Yeah, just the one player over toward B for Maus. It's not going to be a fun place to be if you're Shui. And look at that, Kyron in mid as well as able to take the head off of Torji. And Zorte suffers the same fate at the hands of Nexius. And we're back to a three on three, but three on three requiring a retake on the B bomb site with a double set up towards bench and a nice shot from Nafani. Might make for a difficult task here for Maus. It looks like Betboom are starting strong and Nafani is continuing his fine form from the event so far. Two heads banged off. How about three? Not his own. That's not what we were looking for, but Frozen! Ooh. Well, he's run out of time, but that was a nice three-piece from him. Unfortunately, he won't get much of a reward for it. He is going to hold on to armor, though. So with the 3k there, what's he got? 2.9. That's an A1S buy. Shut down some of these fast plays, at least in go. Oh, it missed it. They missed the window smoke again, but they're just running straight what? out of A. That's Hang a different on. player. That was a different oh, player. Oh, that's that the, wasn't a spray transfer. That's what that's what Mac was talking about. Literally yesterday, I was watching him cast. He says every time you think you see something cool with the spray down, it's always another player. It's got me now as well. Well, it's a three on three. Mouser peg two back. Oh. Plants coming down. Reverse default. No, I think it's just on default here. I've been scammed and I'm mad. Blow and open the smoke. Mouse trying to work their way up through CT. Oh, Zershin. Hold on a moment. Now let's see what Nafani can do. As we've mentioned oh, and kids. highlighted a couple of times already, he's been playing really well individually at this event. And here's a big opportunity to put another nail in the coffin of Mouse's chances on this CT side. Nailed into Sandwich. Won't land. And Nafani is just tucked in it's the corner of Tetris. Molotov. He's backing on the fact that they don't have a deep. He didn't have time kit, to put it the out. The smoke won't come through in time. Nafani will win the round. Oh, you saw the smoke. Look at the smoke on Torsi. He just, the position that he was in holding with the orb, he did not have time to extinguish that Molotov. And Zershin being that low HP, unfortunately, that's not enough. And bet boom. Despite missing another mid window. So, oh, that was nice. Someone naded open the smoke. I don't know if it was a T side or a CT side, but if someone on CT from jungle, AG needed that smoke and Torsi picked someone on the cross from short, that would have been a nice little piece of teamwork. Mm. I haven't actually pulled the trigger on that though. It's a bit of a standoff in middle. Dewey is going to be on the receiving that end was... of that peak and it's Nafani that gets the kill. That was a CT nading open the smoke, unfortunately. Mm. That's not gone well for Mao. Oh, full white. Flash. And an Nafani. He's doing God's work at the moment. Can he get a little bit more done, or does he even need to? Because Danis and Zorte have struck, and again, it's Frozen who will look to survive on his own. Behind that smoke. You can see Bet Boom as well were holding the HE, trying to nade open the smoke. So that's actually the play that they wanted to go for, and the CTs just did it for them. Interconnector again, Bet Boom just out of the gates. They don't slow down at all. 1 minute 36 still on the clock, and Kyron is walking his way into jungle. He wants to take the fight to Shui, and that is going to go very nicely indeed. It is Bet Boom at their best we're getting to witness in <laughs> this upper bracket final oh, at IEM Sydney. Another, another bloody shot from Zorte. It just don't stop. Nafani's got Nafani's another two. Nafani's got another two through Murder Hole. Oh my god. He's orping in CT. Frozen's left. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? Frozen has literally been, every round, Frozen has been like, his whole team has died, and then he's been like, what? what is going on? He's been rotating around Where the map. Where do I go? What do I do? <laughs> I've seen more of Frozen trying to work out what's happening. Is it time to fight fire with fire for mouse? That was a nice little strap from Pet Poon, by the way. They threw a, a jungle smoke team site there to help them come up con. That one, not quite going to connect. <laughs> they just miss window smokes almost non-stop and still just... Oh, who cares? Like, literally, who cares <laughs> just at this shoot point? shoot him in the head. They just... Yeah. You're out mid anyway. Yeah, They're out mid. It doesn't <laughs> matter. I don't need a window smoke. How about just don't... Oh, this what? It again! Twice in one round! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. They're oh, going to win this round. They're going to win this round anyway, Jordan. None of it matters. Nah, they're not. I okay. don't think so. I no. think this is where yeah, the fun all right. stops. All right, all right, all right. Oh, oh, good. oh. God. goodness me. You do have to hit at least one window smoke, guys. 
Oh. Oh. Hello. So sharp. All right. Dorte, how about that? Let's see if he can do some damage. That's the thing. We did it. Boom. That's one. one. Boom. Two. That's two. And Kyron just jumps into window. <laughs> Look, that should have worked, to be honest. Like, if Torsi doesn't hit that no scope, which had a fair deal of RNG involved. Maybe it was Kyron, just a plan. Honestly. He's gone okay. And here's another set of util over the top. Looks to be the same set again from Bet Boom. Torji, though, has gotten rid of Kyron, so you're not going to see anyone jumping up over the boxes this time around. It's Nafani who has to find the entry. Nade will finish him off, but you're still seeing kills here for Vetboom, and Shui's position is key. They didn't figure there would be anyone behind triple, and so Danis will go down without too much difficulty. He's got the Styron to try to clear that one out, and he does a good job of it. Zorte also struck in the meanwhile. Two on one for Zertion, though he has Util to play with. The time is not in his favor. Oh, and that nade nothing. barely even tickling Siren. Thought he just jiggling for info here. Doesn't actually catch the cross. That provides an opportunity desertion. But a messy spray means that he can't see his hold of it. And a ninth for Bet Boom. Torji is watching. Oh, but he's fallen off the line. Just at the right time, though, for Shui to grab the kill on to Nafani. Torji has been given information on Siren as well, and it is all coming together for Maus in the final round of the half. It's just Kyron, and there's no talk of damage anymore, but still, you'd have to say there's maybe some damaged egos on the behalf of Maus after that. Nine to three for Betboom to kick off the series. Window smoke going in there for Maus. Only one flash left here. Zorte trying to spam through the edge of the smoke as Maus start to make some moves towards Connector. Three players over here for Bet Boom though. Fast up Connector. Maybe taking a leaf out of Bet Boom's book right here is Maus. Nafani though is able to double strike on the entry, and once again, it is really not quite so easy as it looks for Maus. Bombs in an awkward spot here. Progressed forward into jungle. Does give options for Torzi. And Kyron was just spotted walking into the bottom connector there. So, oh, info was given desertion, but Kyron's just a little bit better. Torsi now repositioning back towards CT side. Both of these players on Bet Boom trying to move together. Siren watching the cross, but getting peaked by Torsi. Kyron now oh. on the cross. A critical 2K yeah. to win a big pistol round for Bet Boom and Kyron. It might be thinking about rerouting, perhaps. No, just juggling a few pieces of utility around for the time being. Here comes the util. Let's see what Nafani can do. He's going to have to smoke himself off. Spam's coming through now as well. That P90 Dream might not be on offer, but he's going to go for the swing and no such success. That said, they haven't cleared Siren in the firebox. They've completely ignored him. Bomb plan not yet gone down for Mao's Shui. Not moving a muscle and Siren. Did he see Shui walk into under balcony? Maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Either way, the kill's not going to go where it needed to. And that'll leave Kyron alone, org in hand. He's hitting his shots at the moment, though. Let's have a look and see how this plays out. Not quite enough. As Frozen gets the timing out from Alice. Probably see the force here from Bet Boom, I'd imagine. Siren wants to push his way up. The flash coverage is just a bit too good, though, for Maus to allow that kind of aggression from Bet Boom. Still, they want to swing, and Kyron's got himself one. Siren spotted out the bomb there as well. This is going horribly wrong for Maus. Bet Boom, oh. unbridled aggression. Version's taken the B site, but traded by Zorte. Frozen waiting in Palace, waiting for an A site rotation that he can potentially punish, and Torsi looking for something. But it is taking them a long time to work through middle. And Siren is on an off angle. You'd expect him to probably get one from here. What's the clearance going to look like? Horrible. Torsi, back turn. Gives up his life for free. And now it's just Frozen who is going to have to recollect oh, the bomb. Oh, oh, oh Frozen. What? what on earth have you just done? The smoke goes through. He's into A. There's nothing that Kyron can do about it. And just like that, as I said, you look for the magic. And there it is. Frozen. Can he convert? Oh, up onto the balcony, a ballsy spot, and Frozen, what a round, that is insane. 4K to save Maus from being broke on map point. Didn't go well right from the start of the round. Bet Boom aggressing up middle, finding a pick in B apartments. 
put them right on the ropes straight from the get-go. They've been on the ropes this entire game. Bang, bang, but here you go. maybe, Watch maybe it. this shooting, Ooh. this clutch could be the point where things start to turn around for Maus. There's already a top con smoke. Insertion can't get in position to smoke window just yet. Now he's looking for this big apartments timing. There's already multiple players here. Pop flashes out from Nexus. He's on the entry duty, and that's not quite gone the way he oh. wanted it to. Siren looking sharp indeed. Eventually shut down, but Nafani's there for the trade from Jail. Bomb is dropped in the middle of the site, and Zershan, he's up to Nafani's old tricks, but it's just not quick enough. Three on two. And Zorte is watching from that cheeky little angle. Undone. Zershan keeping it alive. Oh, Nafani gets away with a lucky one, and then we'll finish off Zershan as well. Maybe the clutch from Frozen won't make much of a difference to the result of the game. Towards that B site crossfire, in comes the exit. Tyron once again to receive. He's got Kyron there to help him out, and <laughs> actually it's just going to be Kyron now. Flashes are popping all over the place. He can't see properly, and so Frozen will strike, and Nafani tries to creep out through to Africa. It's not going to work for him. Two on four. Going to save. Once again, running a 1-4. Shui applying a lot of pressure towards middle. Three smokes over there for Maus. He's up connector. This is allowing the, the cat rotator to float on over. And although he's been picked, the rest of Maus are going into the B site oh. with force. And it's another entry for Nexius. Oh, Double another two. entry. Okay, he's really starting to come into his own now. 10 and 14, picking the pace up, that's for sure. Good trade from Zershan, spamming through that smoke. Gets Nafani. Bet Boom now have to really look and dig deep. To be fair, we've already seen they have the ability to do that on this map. They went to OT against Vitality to go for that b -ups. Play continue to play the one fours. Three of them died of the bomb. That's not going to be great for their money, actually. I think Mao's are uh, going to need a little bit more depth than just going into this B play every day, but it, it, every single round. But it's uh, it is going to force some kind of response out of Bet Boom. You know, Bet Boom are going to have to respect the fact that they keep dying to these B ups timings. He throws a smoke to Top Con, and Bet Boom. You can see by the way they're moving, they're unsettled. In comes the double pump here from Maus. Next he is again on that same entry line into B. He's looking for Kyron, and he's found him. He is hunting everyone down on the B bomb site. He eventually gets his comeuppance, but look at that from Maus. They are just way too clean on these oh. B entries. Oh, one after the They're other. just playing with Bet Boom. The conditioning and the different layers and different timings that Maus are hitting this B site on is not something that Bet Boom can deal with. And that has worked an absolute treat. That's what I'm talking about when I refer to it as a double pump. Top middle, and again, it's the util set here from Shuhei, making him worried about the B site here, but with the deep control, they're not so worried. Kyron, top balcony, oh, able to oh. find that kill in towards Palace. This could be it. Zershan's burning as well. This is really starting to get unsettled for Maus. The Molotov is going to keep Kyron at bay, so they're safe in onto the site now. And the plant, not yet chance. Do they Look even want to go all the way into CT? Shuhei's re-clearing Palace. Maus are taking CT control here. Oh, he's found That's him. a freebie onto Kyron. Now the rest of Bet Boom only able to play from Con and Stairs side. Okay, Plant is going down for Torzi. Better spam through the boxes, but he'll be fine. And now he can set up on that jungle line. In the meanwhile, Nexius has gone down. Torzi swaps back over to the CT side. And that is nice because it's getting cleared out by Zershan. Danis is already pushing his way in. He's only got an MP9 to work with. Smoke down on the bomb. I'm not sure that's going to be enough with two players still alive here from Maus. Okay. Shui in the palace. The defuse is on. The peak is coming through. The shots are in on to Zorte and Danis. And Maus have secured the overtime. Oh dear, Bet Boom are going to be looking at that and thinking what on earth has happened to our game of Mirage. It all started with that clutch from Frozen. Uh, yeah, P90 comes out for Zorto here. Running straight into Palace. Double headshot again from Frozen. He's unreal. unreal. Waiting for Bet Boom to make a mistake while Version goes and finds the information. He's essentially a glorified money man, but firmly now Mao start to extend their utility over towards top con but Zershan walking into the b site for free brings the boys back he was the lurking lurking contingency plan here for the t side Mao's now almost certainly going to have secured themselves the 14th Kyron going to punish him for maybe over aggressing a little the worst case for bet boom hunt a couple of those players down i'm sure he's heard Kyron jumping around 
That'll be an easy one for Frozen. There's another one from him. I mean, this is the kind of game that people are talking about when they're highlighting Frozen as such, and I suppose you're right. Yep. And I, I think he is the only player left that was in the original Maus roster. The rest yeah. of these guys are the Academy players, so he's the least. Look, we'll pick up on that again. But traffic jam in mid-window. Double Orb comes out, and both of them actually connecting onto Nexius, one of them legging him. Well, he was very dead at that point. <laughs> A bit of overkill here. It's a triple orb. I, I I was just looking at the double orb. It's a triple orb for Bet Boom. Hey, man. If, <laughs> whatever they're doing right now is not working, so let's just go for it. <laughs> okay. Why not? Yeah, all right. Yeah. Triple orb, I guess. Torsi able to peg one back, though. One versus three for Torsi. <laughs> ah, so far he's taken one with him. Kyron on the push through B apartments, though, is the sniper that he wasn't ready for. All right. Well, Zershan, let's see if he can do something pretty special here. Decent start to the one on four, but that is pretty awkward indeed. So, 13-14 is the scoreline at the end of the first half of OT. Bet Boom get themselves one. Looks like they're going to go for this fast play into A. Oh, Molly didn't keep them at bay quite so much. Okay, the answer is yes, yeah. absolutely they are. That is the answer, isn't it? Oh, it's, oh God, it's a T-sided game right now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Don't go, don't, don't play CT side. Welcome to CS2. Oh my lord. I think they uh, removed the CT side from the game. <laughs> what about that 10 man we played last night where we, we 12 0 on T side and then you guys were like 8 0 on T side following that? Yeah. <laughs> There's 20 rounds of T in a row. Funnily enough, that was on Mirage. That was on Mirage too, yeah. Okay, enough shenanigans, 14-14, we're equalized once again. By the way, looking to throw some utility pressure over towards the B side of the map. Torzi refreshing the ramp smoke and gonna nade it open for Frozen, but Frozen inside of the smoke, at least able to go two for one. Ah, Maus and give them the man oh. advantage. Another one for Torsi. blows open the smoke as he initially intended. And Nafani cannot turn this round back around. Zorti one on four. A bit of a slower round goes awry for Bet Boom. Zorte. It's going to see if he can do his own attempt at what Frozen was able to do earlier on in this map for Maus. Molotov to get tossed in the jungle. Smoke went over to Connector. He's got time to work, but the rotations come through from the CT side and that double swing. Oh no, maybe it's gone wrong. Chewie will hold on to it, I thought, for a second. There might be a bit of a spray down, one-two punch, and when they when he's up against the ropes, and a creek for Kyron, scoped weaponry hits the mark here. Assertion hits the deck, and look at this, it's the five-man approach again for Bet Boom straight through middle. They were doing this against United. Vitality, charging up connector. Shui can only get himself one. It was Nafani, so P90 out of the picture, but Nexius into mid. Oh no, it's a bit of a whiff. And I think we might be headed toward overtime number two. Let's see if Torzi and Frozen can do it again. They've won a two on four already. Although, let's be real, that was mostly just down to Frozen. But Torzi was there. And it was a two on four. He was there. He, he was, was there. present. He existed. Oh, and Iron. it might go the same way again. Nah. Frozen having to <laughs> touch it himself. They're getting this plant down on the B site. Looking like a nice after plant for them. Frozen thinks what well of across there from Siren. It's going to be the receiver of a headshot this time rather than the sender. And Bet Boom. So apparently Bet Boom took a tack timeout in that tech pause. So I'm not sure what's going on there, whether or not it counts. Just been told it does count as their one tack timeout for this half of OT or for this set of OT. Uh, That's interesting. Pick for Zorte. Nafani tries to uh, abuse that and jump into window. That pulls the rotation off of B, and Bet Boom step immediately into that space. Oh, Nexius, he's on the entry duty on the CT side. Oh, double kill. Doesn't what? quite get the third there. Danis. What's he doing with the jumping Glock? Glock? Don't know. Doesn't matter. It worked for a moment until he was traded back down, and now it's on to Zorte. Has to go to retrieve that bomb. What a time to plant if he's quick here. It's putting more pressure on Zorte. Made into the smoke. It's not going to be fooling Frozen if he really wanted to get that one. Probably needed to throw a silent one. But 
in the end. He'll at least get the bomb plant down. Cops a bit of damage on the way through there. Insertion won't let him stand up. So, Maus will start the second OT. You're seeing from Cyclone, that's going to be a, a feel-good moment. This is really where they've been struggling, and they lost the opening pick as well. In that round, nice little recovery in the four on five. Oh, he's the wolf pack straight through middle, just five man running into window and connector. Ah, ha ha! Chewie was prepared for it this time around. They've adapted, improvised, and overcome. Got that opening double. Well done from Maus. Bit of an awkward one there for Nexius. Karen jumps in window. Well, see, well aware that someone could be walking through murder hole and punishes. In the meanwhile, Bet Boom rerouting back towards this B site. Sessions here with the smoke. There is a molly to push him out of position, but Siren very low here. And with Danis going underpass with the bomb, I dare say that this is going to be some kind of a B fake with just a U tilt. To hope that Danis can maybe creep up corner or jump into window here and win the round. Well, he is going to jump into window. I don't know whether or not Frozen, sorry, Torji would have heard that. It seems like he certainly has because he's really paying attention to the murder hole. And he now is hearing Danis jumping around in jungle. So he'll just creep his way through. And at this point, that's going to be pretty much the round over, you'd think. It's What's more impressive oh, about this as well is that's two on the CT yeah, side. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Two in a row on CT. I think Maus are understanding. Ooh, got it this time. Got it. Palace uh, pop. Yeah, it's fast to play from Bet Boom. This has been their bread and butter. But Zershin. He's going to gobble all that up, Frozen and Stewie as well, able to strike. It is a little bit too easy for Maus, apparently, as Bet Boom very much have run out of steam. It's going to be three on the CT side of OT number two for Maus. Nothing Zorte can do about it, and that is 18-15. One more required for Maus. That'd be impossible for Bet Boom to defend. One smoke over the top for the window and the rest of the lads jumping out with the layered flashes. There's a Molotov on the short as well. And then it's Nextius again who opens the account for Maus. He's doing exactly what he's intended to do. He's been given a hard job and he's been answering that call quite nicely for Maus. Now it's just two members left alive for Bet Boom. Zorte and Danis trying to retake the B bomb site with a double orb setup. It's just never going to work. And Bet Boom are going to be so disappointed at seeing how that map played out because it was theirs. Hook, line, and sinker, but they got baited and outsmarted by Frozen. And in the end, it is Maus that will walk away with map one of the upper bracket final. And they really do have to congratulate Frozen because he was the one that gave them the chance at that comeback. Mm, some words being said over in the Bet Boom camp here. It's again just raw aggression out of Bet Boom, wanting to take fights, wanting to take space on the map, and Maus in the meanwhile. Just setting up for a creep out onto this A site and a relatively easy after plan as CT has been smoked off. Nafani can't really see a whole lot of anything. Bet Boom now starting to reroute to Donut. Yes, fast in there. Doesn't look like Maus or Bet Boom want to shy away from the fight, and maybe it should have gone a different way for Maus because Kyron has banged a couple of heads off and now in pole position is Bet Boom to win this round. Though what is going on here? Torchy has gone through the CT smoke and he's off to the races over toward the B bomb site. He will definitely get at least a plant. And if Shui can take maybe one more with him. That plan is huge. Like even though they can't win this pistol, it will be some kind of insane round never from Torsi. Hold on. Glock already picking up one onto Kyron. Time ticking away here. And here's oh. another one for Torji. Just needs Four to get bolts. that headshot on Danafani. Has to get the reload off as well. Somehow, I don't know that he's going to be given the chance there by Bet Boom. Oh, oh my god. We're not so great from the CT side. Torshi really would have had a chance there. They did secure it. But what I was going to say is, Maus, they had no hope of winning that pistol. I was wrong about that. But yep. even so, a bomb plant there from Torsi is absolutely massive. Even if they can't secure the pistol, it's going to allow them to keep the press on, on this T side. And with Torsi multi-fragging as well, he'll almost certainly have enough for AK and armor. Switching up the pace now. Crip up the B ramp here. Nafani in the pole position to do the defending. But his head is going to 
to be deleted by Nexius and the rest of the soldiers will fall. That's a round that's over in 15 seconds flat. That is a round. That is one of the rounds of all time for Bet Boom. Well, I'm not sure that Siren's going to get away with this M4 now. Mm, Torsi as well being the one to kill him is going to be able to upgrade his Galil. So not only does Maus pick up that round... Maus just walk their way out in the mid. They control all of lane as well. It's the perfect start to the round. Ooh, XM spotted out. Shui jump spotting. Wants to take the duel with them. Next, he is able to trade one back. Danison, the meanwhile, under a lot of fire over towards uh, Cheetah. But he's able to maintain control of that part of the map. No gun retrieved for Bet Boom though. Molly, close cave, will probably punish, polish off Danis here. But they don't want to make a sound cue. A lot of damage onto Nexius, but he does manage to hit that shot, get that entry. They need to clear out the cutout as well. Siren doing a good job from there, and Kyron alongside Siren. Hold on to the B site, and that's a big round to win for Bet Boom. You can see what it means. It's a big economy swing fight over the middle from both of these teams. It's going to be critically important as Maus try to retake it after the initial utility, and they found that first entry. Yeah, it's gone a bit messy there for Kyron. Shui getting that open, and Thurston with the Tech 9 almost catches Siren off guard as well. Still, what that means for Maus is they recognize the A player is in Donut. They can scale out and take all of Temple. Line's going to go down here as well. It's a ballsy one from Nexius. The coverage is just about there from Torzi, and Nexius gets himself on as well. Quick as you blink, Maus have won another round. Once again, XM coming out for Zorte. Much better looking buy for Maus, but we've already seen the shotguns and the pistols get it done for Bet Boom in a round previous. Pyron, only 12 bullets left to play with the rest of the round. Oh, the beat rap push. Frozen is sweating bullets right now. He's not doing any more sweating, he's dead. Force buys, man. Danis. AK picked up, takes Sertion's head off as well. This has got to be getting so frustrating for Maus now. Yeah, their money's broke. Bet boom. This is the clean round that you were waiting for from them. You know, it's kind of been in the balance. They've been scraping these rounds together. Oh, oh that's a messy spray. Torsi barely clinging to life. It does get cleaned up. Look at that, though. Three AKs Five in the alive. Below. Yeah, AKs picked up. Massive economy swing for the CT side. Naphany's happy about that. And Bet Boom, I think they now realize that they are in the pole position here on Ancient. Once again, they are going to front run the first half. MP9 spray that range, not as easy as it looks. Well done from Bet Boom. Torsi couldn't get any economic damage done either. It was definitely enough util from Maus to make this happen onto B. Smokes for long, smokes for short, Molly for default. Didn't go into the cutout, but the flash has hit onto Danis. You can see, as you said, set execute from Maus. They knew what was clear and what wasn't. Planned. It's going to be denied by Nafani, and Shui has to work hard for his kill onto Kyra, and fast rotate in from Bet Boom denies anything from that round for Maus. It looked good until it didn't. Almost certainly will catch Frozen in the back here in middle. That's a freebie. Yep, that's not a position you're expecting to get killed from as a T. Okay, on to Danis. Not quite able to strike yet, but pushing through that smoke, he's going to get one no more. Spawns Maus is going to look to oh dear. reroute back to A, and with that kill, they'll be able to do so. You've already got Zershan, who's crept his way into CT spawn. Bet Boom are not going to check this on their way past. Trigger Discipline will net him two if things go to plan. Nice shot onto Nafani. And that's the round done and dusted. Well yep. done from Zershan. Crafty play. A double setup on the B-bomb site. You have Nafani boosted in cave, and Danis is there looking... Ready to take the initial contact. Shuhei will not check the corner. And it doesn't quite go as cleanly as Maus would have liked it to have, though. They've got that short smoke in, and so you'd think they can get onto the site and plant. Or not. Torsi drops right across, which leaves Frozen again in a one on three. And this time it might not go the way he would have liked it to have. Another one on the board for Bet Boom. What unfortunately allowed Maus to come back into this game because. You saw it in the initial couple of rounds, there was some shakiness from Pet Boom. Now they're starting to once again get back into the right mind frame that this is a winnable series for them. 
Might even get another 9 3 first off against Mouse here. Fast from Mouse into the B side. Zershin leading that charge with the Tech 9, but Dennis has it on lock. Triple kill for the M4. That pretty much shuts it down for Mouse there. Kept the bay by Molotov as well. And it is only Frozen who is swept aside. Oh, okay. Bebe starting to get happy and excited again. Not broadcast PC friendly words in there. Uh, Although, I don't know, maybe Kyron is a polite young man. Mouse are not feeling polite in this oh, round. They're going fast again. Flash catches Siren. He's not happy about that. You can see him complaining in the player cam as he dies. Nexius, once again, is the player on the entry duty. He's found two this time. On plank going down for Zerch and Zorte will flash above the smoke and try to push through it, but Mal's are wise to those tricks. 2-1-5. Try to secure this last round of the half, and now Finney can't see a thing. Danis will not be allowed to save that gun through to the second half, of course, and it is eight to four. Catches me every time. 12 rounds a half, here we go. Second half coming up in just a minute. And look at Bet Boom just charging their way into B. You know they're not going to stop. And Zershin will have to try to pluck a couple of heads out of the mix, otherwise he's gonna be run down by Glocks. It's just the nature of the beast in Counter-Strike 2. He's just had a rough game as well, and he's the first person that they run at. Now he's trying to organize themselves on the retake. It's a 360 to try to entry through the smoke from Nexius. And he may as well have just done a 180 and turned around and gone home because they've gone absolutely nowhere there. Frozen with no kit. He's got a lot of work to do. There was a kit, I believe, in CT. Not that that's really going to help him too much. He's got no head left. Eight. He's going to turn to nine. A's left open, B, a couple of members over there. Now that mid-control has been established, the Mao's members can start to scurry back to their predetermined positions. There goes Frozen. That is going to bring with it some challenges in itself. Nexius, a bit oh. of damage, but no more than that. And Torzi's run down in mid as well. It is not coming together for Mao's. Yeah, two entries for Kyron this round. Zershin got to run through two Molotovs just to try to get into position to fight for this round. He but can't. even if he, yeah, even if he makes it there, he's got no bloody kit. They've just got to save the rifles. It's just going to further compound the problems for this CT side. You don't have a lot of rounds to play with. You said it yourself. If they lose this one, there's really not going to be that many gun rounds available to them. Maybe one more. Straight A execute. Torsi with a Famous and no util to try and defend. Torsi's just going to hope they don't clear him and they won't. So he does manage to line two up before he goes out of the round. He's done well there. Maybe been well enough for Mouse to upset this round. That's what they're going to be hoping for. There's a little bit to work with for the retake here. Three smokes available. They could maybe smoke off main. Uh, going to give time for Nexius to work, and he might well get that timing on to Naphany. Unexpected in that position. One for one so far. Zorte stepping up from big box, and you've still got Siren as the insurance fund in Temple. But that's been spotted. That's being covered off now by Mao's Defuse is required shortly, and the smoke is going to force Siren out. And on the bomb, Defuse is frozen. He wins the round, and the icing on the top is the kill on to Siren. Mao's tough way to win, but it's a good call. There's no one there for Mao's. Mao's going to have to scramble to rotate through Donut and organize themselves on this retake. Torsi is at least going to work his way into team at least to win this duel and does. Good flash in there to assist courtesy of Frozen. Torsi's lost his life, and next he is through the Molotov. He's going to deny the bomb plant, which is just madness. Good try at observing that one. Yeah. What are you going to do? Absolutely no hope. I had no idea what was going on half the time there as well. Shui gets the kill on to Naphany. These rounds are teetering on the precipice, oh, but they are being won by Mouse. That's the big one, though, because look, without that bomb plant and a lot of lost bonus there, that actually breaks Bet Boom's money, and with two players surviving for Mouse. <sighs> Sorry, that's an inside joke. Next is down, bottom mid. Oh, look at that. The flash timing is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, should we... One for ones all across the board. Hmm. 
You still got a lot of presence in mid here, which I wonder if Bet Boom will be expecting. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, look, Cloud Nine earlier we were resolving these XVXs by just walking onto the site. Lovely, great, great patience shot. from Siren is rewarded. Tors, you going to have a crack himself now as well? Seems. I can't imagine it goes any better than it did for Frozen. That is the case as well. So it's on desertion, and the same ensues. 12 to 7. Bet Boomer one round away. Now's at least we're able to steady their economy a little bit so they can kind of financially recover from losing that round. And that's really just initial trades in middle, and then Siren, he just doesn't move. He just sits bottom mid, and CTs keep peeking him. And he goes, thank you very much. I will take a round. Do we expect Mouse to make that comeback twice in a row? Certainly not. That boom at this point could be thinking, man, we would we would have cleaned up a 2-0. But it's not yet done. And Zershin gets the better of Nafani. I almost expected him to keep holding W through that smoke. It would not have surprised me, given the way this game has been going. That's what Nexius is doing toward A main. And Frozen is really feeling the pressure playing on that A-bomb site. Nowhere to go as the Molotov tickles his feet and finishes him off. Kyron goes down to Shui. But there's another player there from Bet Boom, and now it's just Zershin one on three. I think Bet Boom's going to do it. I think they're going to do it this time. It's been a rough game for Zershin. Hasn't really had a chance to get involved. He'll have to step up here. Will we be pushed through to a third map? Bomb's not down yet. Oh, CT not quite being watched, but that won't matter. Danis has got it done, and Bet Boom won't make the same mistake twice, which means we're going to overpass. Yeah, I mean, uh, much better recovery from Bet Boom. Gel, oh, okay. Much more wholesome finish to the map than what we saw on the player cams last time around, and Mao's. Yeah. Look, despite an inspirational clutch giving them the steam to actually complete the comeback there on Mirage. Yeah, definitely. I think they were always going to be a team that could cause some damage. I'm not sure that people necessarily expected them to go super, super deep, but that is a storyline that is starting to materialize as we watch. And it is an all-out brawl over long that is going to go the way of Maus initially. The exchange favoring the T's with those Glocks. Head into the A-bomb site, which looks to be now the option as the smokes are tossed across one for jump up. And the other, you would assume, to go to bank, and it is. The flash is now getting scaled in as well, and Maus will make their way onto the site to try to fight against Nafani, who's holding from truck. Gets his head lopped off. It's just Siren now, Dooley's in hand, trying to get in there quick and fast, but it will not really work out that way. And uh, it feels like it's been a while since Maus have won a pistol, but there's one for him. And any that is, all is presiding on that B side of the map. So really for Kyren and Nafani, it's all about playing the off angles on A right now. Once again, smoke's going out and it's not going to bother Nafani at all. Quick couple of taps with the M4A1S and all of a sudden Maus from a solid position in the round are starting to fall apart. Shui, he can only get himself a one for one, which is not enough when you're down on numbers. Torshi and Frozen have been tasked with the clutch so many times today for Maus. And once again, two on three for the dynamic duo of Maus. Yeah, Dan is just holding the middle of the map on short B. He doesn't want to let them reroute. But mm. that's a wide peak from Zorte that is punished. Yeah, Siren's going to come creeping up through jump up. Gets into truck. He should have been spotted there by Frozen. And indeed was. Headshot goes through. Mm. Slowly but steadily, the house of cards is falling apart for Bet Boom. It's not how you wanted to play your three on two. Just giving two 1v1s away like that. Now Danis must 1v2, no kit for him. Made a bit of noise there, Torchy has heard it as well and ready. Missed opportunity for Bet Boom. Has Big to one. be said, they really needed to convert that 4 on 2, or 4 on 3 rather. Look at that, Nafani, he took almost three players de down and Zorte insta trades. So uh, again, it's just classic Frozen and Torsi. So maybe expecting to see something a little bit more from Bet Boom down here. Not that it's going to given the opportunity. Torsi was so fast into short. That was punished in the end by Danist on the trade. And Zershin fully flashed. Good util usage on the B site from Bet Boom. Torte getting that assist. 
sets Bedroom up for their first round on this map. And Molly's are going to go through. Mao's are working their way in. So he can't do much from up in heaven when he smoked off. And Exius with the orb. He's picked that one up himself. There you go. How about that? He's a sub. He's a secondary orper as well, apparently. Don't need Torsi when Nexius is here. And now it's Frozen and Shui, and that's going to be run two wow. from Shui. Wow. What a nice round from Mouse. Three on four. And if you can't win that round as Bet Boom, then things are looking very dire indeed. Well, that's what I was saying. I mean, Nafani in the previous gun round gets two, almost three players by himself. And again, in, in another man advantage situation for Bet Boom, they can't close. Now it's just kind of stroll into the site and win the post plant with ease. Mm. Now for me, that was something that he went for a dry peek on last round on the half by, and actually Bepoon once again set up quite heavily in connector. Mao's looking to a contest. Wide swing from Kyron. Just gets in with the drive by treatment and Torzi <laughs> jumping Org. Still traded well by Mao's though. We end up in a three on three despite the con setup. Oh, Danis can't quite catch Frozen before that smoke blooms. In the meanwhile, you do have Shui who is creeping his way forward outside of bathrooms. Mm, this is a really nice timing. He Unless. pops Zorte. Oh, no. Unfortunate. Yeah, it's one of those 50-50s, really, isn't it? We'll also have a bit of a say in this round. There are some smokes available for Maus, though. They can get a smoke onto the site, maybe get that plant down. Play out the two on three. Step made, though, by Zertion. And now Frozen's position comes into play. Can't win the duel against Siren. And here comes the push from the CT side. Zershan can't hit much. Finally, Better Boom have some success. Chewie and Chiron. It's a game of timing once again. Zorte's caught frozen in the meanwhile. Chiron has to be cleared out now, but won't be by Zershan. Still, Chewie finding that advantage, at least for Mouse. And now it's on to Nafani to try to hold on to the A bomb site, desperately trying to toss his util out to help himself. And that's a pretty good job. Lots of damage onto Nexius as well. And look at the layer of utility across the top. Now, Torsi, here's your moment. Let's see what you've got. Not enough. And Bet Boomer back in it. Surely another, plan uh, another buy here for Mouse, though. Pressure is not going to let up anytime soon. Yeah, another boost, and that one will work out. Ooh, Ooh what a good shot. trade from Zorte, though. Well, he's got a lot of work to do holding onto this site. He's calling for the rotation, and Afani has come up. 34 seconds, Mouse are pretty much going to have to commit to this A site hit now, and going right into Zorte, who's been quietly starting to put together a pretty good map. I was highlighting the fact that Bet Boom haven't really been able to get the AWP out, and that was earlier on in the half. Now that it is here, Zorte has been using it very nicely indeed. Drops to Frozen, who's done more damage there as well. And again, two guns only for Bet Boom, despite the good start. But a round's a round when you're down six and two. Yeah, Mao's not getting these bomb plants the last couple of rounds. I dare say if they were actually able to, they... Uh Probably could have put a buy together in this. Oh, that was a single scope, Jordan. That's a very nice round from Zorte. You're yeah, definitely getting more competitive now. A bit more back and forth. Molly missed, I think, again. Aggression up the middle of the map, though. No one on B for Bet Boom. They opt to just fight long A. This is just got the bomb. 5v5 fisticuffs in bloody Fountain, Jordan. They have the bomb. So that's a problem for Maus. Frozen, he's fighting hard, desperately. Kyron, though, will get his number. <laughs> this is crazy. Disregard the B bomb site. Acquire rounds, says Bet Boom. Kyron's got a full belt of util. Needs to buy time for Nafani to come up connector here. Oh, and he is getting through it pretty quickly. Nafani doing what he loves. Oh, but oh. it watched by Zershan. They know. Mouse have seen that old chestnut a few too many times. They know Kyron was in this part of the map as well. To be he's... fair, though, to Kyron, he has called it correctly. <laughs> yeah, he's in the right place at the right time. Ooh, with a very nice position to play from as well. It's so difficult sometimes to dig out the player and truck, especially when that happens. Next year's down. Nine seconds here for Zershan. Has to plant in the oh, smoke. The There's a nade. It's blowing over the smoke, and Zershan's dead.
Save your nades, boys and girls. What I really appreciate about Bet Boom is they miss all this util, but it doesn't seem to matter. They just win the round they anyway. Just win anyway. So, yeah. how scary are they going to be when they start hitting their util? Is the question. Kyron. Oh, Ooh. Torsi's hit him with the double dink. Smash. Two haircuts for the price of one. That's a freebie. Daphne's wondering if they've got any more hair colour available. Ooh. And, oh, he's taken a couple of heads himself. Only a couple of players down, though. Trade is coming back on through from Mouse. It's getting messy. Sirens hiding behind the smoke in the end. Down in subcon. Could be the key timing here, especially at this range against a Galil. Oh, he's actually threaded the needle on the nice timing here. Is he going to check close left? Oh, nope. how about that? Frozen will check him. Sirens making noise. Good shots. He's still got two more to find. Needs to get the reload off. He'll be able to do so. Zertion, his position, is it known? Yes, it seems the pre-fire was there, but next he is good for the trade. And the final round of the half is going to go the way of Maus. It's seven to five at the end of the half. Go for a bit of a jump spot. Having a bit of a, a geese around. No util left, but bet boom. Gonna kick off this beat plate. Oh, looks uh, pretty good for oh. Maus Torsi. How about that? <laughs> All right, that's one way to win a pistol. Didn't even get a bloody short, mate. No, sir. And shoot like uh, Monacy, hopefully. Shoot like a Monacy. Shoot like a Chiron doesn't sound too bad at the moment as well. How about Zershin? What can he do? Stuck in this cutout next to truck. Uh, it gets a little bit more than his money's worth, but still not enough to stop Bet Boom from getting into the site. Faster play, though, from Mouse. They're not going to let that bomb plant go down. How about it? Mouse, straight through the smoke, fearless. And they take a leaf out of Bet Boom's book, maybe, by picking the pace up. Lost a little bit of HP walking up into the smoke. This is just not coming together for him, is it? No way. Oof. Nice effort. A plus for effort. Despite not looking like it initially, they are undoubtedly in the pole position here. No bomb plant for Bet Boom. Naphany, unfortunately, kind of left Kyron high and dry there. Didn't really defend the planter at all. We opted to swing around the other side. Cast some, cast some more Counter Strike with me. Okay. Uh, no head armor Molly misses. for Kyron. Yeah, Molly's missing for both teams. Kyron's fast up into short. The nade is there, Ooh. but headshot onto Zershin. See you later, Mouse. That pace is going to beat them again. Bet Boomer into B. They've got BB in their name. And that is now the site that they hold on to. Shui can't do too much to keep control of it for Mouse. It's four on two. And I think Mouse are better off maybe saving the AWP and the AK here. Terrorists win. Okay. What an entry this was. You know, he really just doesn't have a lot of time to react to that information. He's got nades flying at him. He's, it's a bit of a tongue twister for you guys. Say it five times fast. In the meanwhile, let's see what Bet Boom are going to do on B. Contact play is what it's going to be. Flashes do come over the top Ooh. and Siren. So sharp and clean on the entry. Two headshots. Next here, and Zorte. Sorry, Zershin cleaned up. Zorte did fall as well, and that is the bomb plant for Nafani. <laughs> Rosin is so over this. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> he doesn't get to play the game, does he? Come on, Torsi, you know better, buddy. Ooh, that in it. <laughs> it's a good way to just go smash. Parkour! You know, maybe... <laughs> <laughs> Parkour! One HP smashes his face into the wall and dies. <laughs> Aggression in the mid-round for Frozen. He's sick of sitting by the wayside. He says, get me in, I want to take a duel. I'm not rotating anymore. Well, he's in the spot to make a difference this time, though. The flash has gone over the top. It has not connected onto Zorte, who will pop his head off. And it might be Bet Boom now that are in the lead for this round. Torsi catches Kyron, missing through the smoke. Shui on the line, helped out by Zershin. It's a strong hold from Maus. It looked rough for a moment with that opening kill going the way of Bet Boom, but now they're on their way back down to B. Yeah, Siren wants to take as much space as he can, smoke into heaven, try to get up close on that ABC line and not let Maus back into this site so that Zorte can get this clean plant down. Maus are wasting time. They've all got a couple of kits there that they can play with, but no util, no smoke for the bomb, that's for sure. Here's Zorte with his opportunity, only able to get damage, and Siren, a bit of a whiff, can't follow up. And so Mouse will win the round. They get to 11 first. So much money built up from Bet Boom on this comeback train, though. 
Solo over on that B side of the map, throwing a little bit of utility. Smoke gets nuked. That boom wanting to start to step towards the A side of the map. Torsi getting isolated on Bracket's side. This time at least not just to a Molotov. Oh. Frozen. He's able to convert at least one Ooh. kill and then another sharp double bink onto Zorte. Hang on a second. Frozen's not done just yet. Nade over the top, softening the targets up and Frozen is having one of those rounds. Two players left to find. Oh. He's got one more. Looking for the ace. Frozen putting on a masterclass. What a round for it. Mao's right on the ropes and Frozen just takes over. Siren now one on five. He's been put in a lot of te untenable positions. He really just wants to do damage to the economy if he can, even if he just doesn't win this clutch. Well, surely no, maybe not. Assertion does go down. Siren, there's maybe still something on offer yeah. until he runs into Shui and that is 12 for Mao's. They won't be denied. One round to go. Still plenty of cash to keep reinvesting though for Bet Boom. These slower rounds, they've been kind of getting picked apart most of the time. Maybe need to up the tempo yet again and just simplify it down to those entries and trades. Bathrooms, Frozen will take that space back. Yeah, bet Boom got to find a way to dig deep here and find a way to get past Frozen. Here he goes again, creeping toward the bathrooms. Doesn't want to let anybody into the A bomb site. Bet Boom at the moment all lining up a bit of util. Smokes are going to go over. And Torzi already able to strike onto Chiron, which gives more room for Frozen to play with. Fortunately, he's not going to get to play much longer. And now it's on to Torzi, who has already hit two in this round. And kept Bet Boom at bay. They've just stopped in place, cut sound, backed off. That A hit is not where they want to end up. There's no chance to reroute, though. Bet Boom, they didn't actually go through their paces and take any B control. They didn't leave that B site lurker in short or over towards Monster or even work any control of Connector, so there is no plan B for them. They have to continue back towards this A side of the map, and that has been very firmly oh. closed for business. Not again. Two Four. more from Torzi. Four for Torzi. He's now on for the ace. We just saw Frozen miss out by one kill, and we might get the same here for Torzi. But what a way to close oh. it out. That is the ace from Torzi, and that is Maus confirmed through to Saturday. They get themselves that spot in the semi-final. Force Bet Boom to play on Friday in the quarter-final. And they continue their undefeated streak at IEM Sydney. Another dub in the book from ours. Yeah, call him a snag on the grill at Bunnings because Torsi's gotten saucy in that oh, round, yes. Jordan. I oh, love to hear it, Pilski. Fantastic stuff from Mouse. Got to say, though, commiserations to Bet Boom. They played such a good map one. It really did look like they... Could have gotten a 2-0 actually today. Uh, things just let slip a little bit. A couple too many rounds left by the wayside. Certainly a lot of conversations to be had throughout the night and even going into tomorrow for Bet Boom because they did really look like a threatening team. These are if they got an extra 10% yeah. somewhere.